Hey guys, my name is Paul St. Louis. This is Ozzy. Ozzy, say hello. Ozzy, say hello. And this is my Ford E350 that I'm turning into a, or converting into a camper van. Uh, right now we are in Santa Cruz. I found this cool little pullout. I have no idea where we are. State Butano Park, maybe? Or at least something like that. Anyways, we will start from the outside. Um, 2006 Ford E350, 5.4 liter, two wheel drive. And yeah, so I bought this off of a family friend. He picked it up from a government auction for $300. He sold it to me for $300 because he was not doing anything with it. It obviously needed a transmission, which was not a problem. I bought a transmission, installed it. It was missing a starter, transmission harness, support brace. I replaced all that. After I got it going, I did not know how many miles it had. After I installed everything and started it for the first time, it only had 98,000 miles which was pretty impressive. It was used to transport inmates, I believe. There was a map inside the sun visor that had a uh, map of the jail, I would assume. I trashed that. I didn't want that kind of energy in my van. Um, but yeah, this is it. So let's enter in. Uh, first off, I start at the front. Uh, nothing much going on in here out of the ordinary, except for my collection of crystals. You gotta have rocks, sage, you know, all the good stuff. This one's probably one of my favorites, pyrite. I keep all kinds of random things over here, like my backpack, the windshield visor, a uh, Milwaukee light. There's a saw back there somewhere, a hammer, a hatchet. And of course, a fire extinguisher. You definitely need one. I definitely need to grab another one. Of course, my boots are over there. Next up is this. I don't know what you would want to call it. It's a divider. Usually use this for at night to divide the front end or the, the cab from the rest of the van. It looks really nice. And then I found this stick. I'm really into finding rocks, sticks, shells, pine cones, all kinds of stuff. So I found that and put it to use. Now I, I have not been able to put up the walls yet or the ceiling. So I've got all these tapestries here. Uh, I was tired of looking at the bare white metal walls and reflectix window covers. So these tapestries definitely do help. I turned on some lights to help bring some light in here. Uh, as you can tell, I'm in a very well shaded area. It's quite nice. Let's start off over here. This is a type of dresser that I built. Got some nice little table space. These are samples from Lowe's and Home Depot that I did not really intend to use them, but I actually use them as placemats. So they came in use. Um, right here I store, this is like my junk drawer, bought some new stickers, uh, you know, batteries, tape, lights, bags, spare money, zip ties, fuses, a charger, stuff like that. In this drawer, I've got Ozzy's treats. This is mainly for hygiene, etc. Dude wipes, you gotta have dude wipes face wipes, got some papaya, some herbs, mint roller, toothbrush, toothpaste, sunscreen, which I never use, Q-tips, toothpicks, you know, all those types of goodies. And then in this drawer, I've got all my incense, 60 patchouli, and dragon's blood, all time favorite after oh never mind i thought that was rose 
Anyways, yeah, incense, lighters, candle, matches. Gotta have the matches. And this I got a stupid mask, some alarms, Ozzy's bags. And this one I've got bowls, plates, a cozy. I love this thing, it's pretty cool. Um, chopsticks, gotta have the chopsticks, spatula, and then I also have a can opener and some disposable utensils. Uh, one thing I learned is because I do not have a gray water system or even a sink, using disposable utensils and plates and bowls, these are not disposable, but I will get to those. Uh, definitely saves up on water and time. Uh, I know it's wasteful, but at least they're biodegradable. Next up I have, this is food. These three are food. Usually I keep crackers, chips, bread, bars in this drawer. In this drawer I've got Ozzy's food, oatmeal, gotta have the hot sauce, hot sauce, and soy sauce. Essential food ingredients. And then Ozzy's, some more of Ozzy's food. Ozzy stopped itching after I kicked him off of the food with chicken in it. Ramen, gotta have this time of ramen. This stuff is really good and easy and spices. I've got this rug, I love this rug. Definitely one of my favorites. This is my entrance rug that I usually wipe my feet off of. Right here is, this is for brushing my teeth water. And this is for washing my hands water. I'll fill up the cup with the water, which is sitting over there. Grab a squirt of soap on my hands, come out and wash my hands. And then same with brushing my teeth. Um, I just grab some rope to help keep these items in place. Uh, this little mechanism is actually a swivel table. I'll show you that in a minute. And I built it like this so that I have an attachment that I can screw on and then also I could cook outside. Um, this is just to help keep my tapestry clipped in place like so. Got some more rocks, of course, and a plant. I found some shells today. Got an incense holder. And then right here, this is where I keep my paper towels. Well, the ones that I'm using. Uh, this is magnetic. So just magnets straight up to the wall of the van. This is my garbage can. I love this garbage can, it's unique. And then this is where I keep my electrical system other than my battery. But yeah, this is my electrical setup. Uh, it's pretty simple, kind of a mess right now. I'm still in the process of building it out. Um, got a, a tester right there. There's a switch right there for my second battery. There's a switch, which is obviously not bolted up. That's for my DC to DC battery charger. Got a negative shunt, positive shunt, small little fuse box right there. And that little inline fuse is for the battery to battery charger and monitor, which is just lying down right there for some reason. Usually stays up here. And as you can see, I've got 100% with 12.8 volts. That's because nothing's hooked up to it. And yeah, that's it for the battery system, which I forgot to mention where my second battery is. So let me go show you. So my second battery is actually right here. Um, the Ford Econolines, I know the diesel powered vans came with this battery box. Now I wanted to put a bigger battery in it. It's a deep cycle lead acid battery. I wanted to put a bigger battery in it. In order to do that, I had to drop the box a little bit. So I drilled some holes so that I could drop it. 
do want to i actually moved it over just a little bit so that i could fit up a another box right there as you can see all these holes are for different items that you could bolt up such as steps you know a battery box etc on the other side i could there's also a lot of space i was thinking about putting another water system but yeah that's my second battery let's go back to this guy um this is where I keep my stove got my stove in there two bottles of propane and the feed line for the propane and back here this is for my swivel table so let me show you that so in order to use my swivel table which is right here hello Ozzy swivel this out Let's see if I could do this with one hand unclip that I made these little button latches and this is galvanized pipe I just made this Galvanized stand right here, bolted it to the, bolted and glued it to this chunk of wood. Put it right there, and it's threaded. So all you gotta do is righty tidy. There we go, and spin it on. Once it's tight, it doesn't need to be super tight. It's not going anywhere. I can actually move it around. To put over here when the door is closed use it like that otherwise i like to cook over here when i'm done sit right here and eat pretty awesome huh gotta have this so this little table just sits right down there i made a little ledge so it hold the bottom of the table stapled some carpet to these blocks of wood to keep from scratching up the table and then I made these little clips with push buttons. Just cut up some leather straps to help keep it in place. And it just slides in right there. And then clips into place, just like so. Now this bad boy is my cooler and my seat. One thing I realized after being in a low roof fan is i'm not gonna stand on my knees and cook i'm not gonna stand on my knees and move around and grab things i'm just not gonna do it it's uncomfortable on my knees it's unrealistic so using this cooler as a chair or a seat has definitely helped you know, me to do things. I could cook up here. I can access these drawers. I could access the garbage can. I could do whatever I want. And I don't have to ruin my knees or try standing up. So yeah, this is my cooler. I got a pillow and a blanket. Got this blanket in Santa Cruz a few weeks ago. Awesome, love the color purple. Um, right in here is this little system is where i hold 10 gallons of water you need a bottle opener got some more of these handles and i've got two five gallon jugs plastic bags paper bags and then this is where i keep my normal watering system i keep ozzy's water bowl right there just in case some water drips in, it could just drip right up in that bowl. Uh, it's bungee corded to the wall. Uh, up in there is where just random storage, uh, bullet mattress, air mat, or air pump, some Milwaukee batteries. And next up is this drawer. This is a big drawer. Um, this is where I keep a pot, a pan. I've got some more napkins in there. I've got, you know, a couple sponges, a lid, isopropyl alcohol, a funnel, some bowls, 
vegetable wash, toilet paper, and more sponges. Oh, and some rags. This drawer is actually pretty simple. There's no drawer slides or anything. It's just wood on wood. Next up is this drawer. This one has a latch because it actually is on drawer slides and it constantly kept sliding out. Um, these are actually wood to wood. So they do pretty well when I'm traveling. And they usually, usually this one will slide out and the bottom food one or maybe one of the lighter ones will slide out, but they do pretty good. Uh, this is where I keep more propane. I've got one, two, three bottles of propane. I've got more utensils. Oh, what the? I did not know I had more wipes. Cool. Uh, aluminum foil. Lotion. Paper plates. Got some bags. Paper bowls, trash bags. More Ziploc bags for sandwiches. And yeah, I need to come up with the, I don't know, a better way of dividing these because I don't, I mean, this worked out pretty well. I just, I just drilled some uh, screws, made sure they didn't go all the way through. And that's what's keeping these in place. I can remove them if I wanted to. And next up are these lights. These are actually double A powered lights. You can remove these to change the batteries. And then these ones are actually pretty cool because they change colors. So you can change up the vibe whenever you want. And they're removable. So I can move them around to wherever I want. Uh, next up, this is where I usually keep my hang my necklace or my hat. Uh, this is just a blow up mattress with a foam pad. This is my sheet. Got my blanket, my pillow, my suitcase. Eventually, I'll build up after I build up the walls and the ceiling. Then I'll make some sort of storage compartment for my clothes. Um, I also need to figure out a place to put all these because I'm tired of looking at this foil looking stuff. But these are my window covers. And so over here, I love this blanket. As I said, I love purple. I brought my board this time so I can go cruising. Uh, this is my fan. This thing is freaking awesome. This is a Milwaukee fan. I've got two five amp hour batteries, M18 batteries, and two three amp hour batteries. And this thing has actually saved my butt a lot of, uh, quite often. Um, but you know, this is how I do without a very intricate battery system. You know, that does not need to be hooked up to a second battery. Neither does my cooler or my lights. Um, so, I mean, you really don't need to buy, you know, a thousand to $2,000 worth of equipment and lithium batteries and all this fancy stuff just to be comfortable and go out and travel. Um, yeah, it'll definitely make things different for you, but you know, I do just fine with that fan a cooler and these double a powered lights so these windows i actually found these windows at pick and pull they didn't come with the stickers but this van originally came with stationary windows and i actually what happened was these two windows were leaking water when it rained and so i finally had the opportunity to try and replace them so I found these at the junkyard, luckily. Too bad they didn't come tinted, but that's okay. And it definitely helps out with airflow. So one thing I use to hold up the tapestries are just these normal clips. This is a wiring harness for the van, probably for the tail lights, the blower motor that used to be in the rear. Another thing I want to point out is my van was the probably the most basic model there was. 
That's why it had the lame headlights that I've upgraded. All you need is go to the junkyard, grab a headlight like that. It comes with a couple brackets, pull those off, and just a simple plug and play. Um, but this also had manual windows. I did not like that. So initially I wired up the automatic windows. Um, eventually I wanna hook up a um, locking system for my van because this one is just manual. Um, and then this door panel is from a 2012. The 2006 and earlier models did not have any of this. And these actually have helped out a lot. So these also plug and play as well. So if you go to the junkyard or wherever, you can literally just pull one off of any of the newer vans and it literally bolts straight up. Same with the doghouse right here. I got this doghouse from the same 2012. A lot more space, it looks nicer, a lot cleaner. Um, but yeah, I, also, I wired up some automatic windows. I had to replace the doors because they had some dings in them. And the doors I found came with window motors. So I was like, okay, now's the time. So I wanted to show you guys my second swivel table adapter. So I've got a section right here. This is the adapter that I made. Just some piping, some connections there. You thread it in right here. See if I can do this with one hand. All right. Thread it on. It's good right there, nice and tight. The last thing I wanted to do is tilt back and forth. Got my table, the same table I've got for the interior. And thread it on, just like that. Now I could cook outside. Initially I had some hinges right here and it folded over so I can extend it. But after you put weight on this side, it will loosen up. So this was the best I got. I really want to attach a table out here um, just so I can have some extra table space. Oh yeah, pretty cool. Make yourself a swivel table. Pretty simple and cheap. So this is the back side of my van. Um, I made these little panels here. This is what I call my garage. I've got a tool chest right here. Thank you, Jimmy, for this. He gave this to me. Uh, but yeah, that's my tool chest. Let me pull that out and show you all. Show you what I got next. With that tool chest removed. I've got a motion activated light right here, which I just turned on. This is where I keep my jumper cables, some Milwaukee tools, more batteries. Um, in here, I've got some sockets, ratchet, a Milwaukee rocket light, a jack stand, and then Anyone who travels, you should always have tools. I'm very prepared when it comes to this kind of thing. I want to make sure I'm not stranded out in the middle of nowhere. So I keep all my tools with me. And then this bad boy, I've got spare parts. So let me show you. So in here, this is where I keep all my spare parts. Keep a scissor lift, some oil funnels. I've got a spare alternator there. Some tire plugs, can of Freon. Transmission fluid right here and here. Another can of oil or bottle, another bottle of oil. I've got a spare serpentine belt here extra headlight bulbs, oil filter, and here I've got some coil packs, a couple different sensors, camshaft sensor, crankshaft sensor, mass airflow sensor, a couple spark plugs, 
and own a couple wheel bearings down there. So definitely be prepared, everyone. You know, especially if you know how to work on your own stuff. I always like to keep spare parts. The next spare part I need to get is a spare starter. But yeah, be prepared. And next back here, I've got more storage, another bottle opener. And this is probably one of the things that I made in the beginning that ended up not being the most realistic. As you can see, this literally just happened. This is probably the fourth wheel that came off. When I first made it, it was okay because there was nothing in it. But after I built it and started putting it to use, all this stuff weighed down and actually broke. I think three or four of the wheels so far. Yeah, this is where I keep all my camping gear. Got some more clamps, string lights. I've got rope, a hammock, gotta have a hammock. More lights in there. This is called a Weibo. Little tiny chair. All kinds of camping gear, bungee cords, candles, frisbee, and more stuff back there. But yeah, it's just way too heavy for these little wheels. Um, that, that's, I think that's the third or fourth wheel that broke. So right here is a cool little curtain idea. I attached it to this bracket right here, which is for the sliding door. So that when I close it, it closes up as well. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with all these curtains closed. And I'll probably send, show you guys a clip of what it looks like <laughs> during the night when it's nice and comfy in my little fort, my little camper van fort. So this is what the van looks like when everything's closed up. You know, it's a nice little fortress. So if you don't got walls, I recommend getting, you know, maybe some curtains. These are cheap little tapestries, you know, ranging from 10 to $30 from Etsy and Amazon. If you get tapestries, make sure you wash them a few times. Otherwise they smell like ink. But yeah, I'd rather look at beauty than foil and metal. Um, yeah, it's pretty comfy in here. And it's nice because you can, you know, you can move these up, clip them up to the harness. You can unclip them like so, you know, open up the window for some flow. You know, nice little divider from the cab. This one opens up with the door. You know, you can move all these. You know, you can do all kinds of stuff to get more circulation and sunlight. <laughs> get them, boy. But anyways, you know, this is our van. Thanks for watching. This is our van tour. Uh, if you liked it, you know, please like it and subscribe. Uh, this is my first YouTube video, so do bear with me. Yeah, anyways, my name is Paul St. Louis. This is Ozzy, and this is our van tour. I hope you liked it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, and like I said, before you build out your van, stay a few nights in it. Get to know... The layout, get to know what you what you want, what you think you want, and what you need. And go from there. Start building it out one thing at a time. And um, I'm going to hope this video is helpful. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.